Hey guys, so right now I'm in Lutz, Florida, back at the Edward Scissors Hand uh, neighborhood. And right now I'm standing right in front of the house. And you wanna know why? Because I actually get to go inside today. The owners of the house, which have been here for about a year, have made it into a little museum and they're allowing people to come in and take little tours. Right now, there is several people inside the house right now. And I'm trying to wait around to see if he has a little break so I can interview him and ask him some questions on how he got the house. Look at this. So cool, right? Check it out. He has put up so much stuff just to make it, you know, give it that Edward Scissors hands, you know, feel to it. How cool is that? And uh, at least a couple times a month, he'll show the movie in the backyard. He'll invite people over to come watch it. Um, look how nice it looks. Let me tell you, this did not look like this a year ago. I bet the people that lived here before would have never thought that this would look like this. She walks in and everything. There's actually a picture right here when they first walk in. I wanted to. I had, we had someone here like a week or so ago. That's what they have here. And we look at the door. They got. <laughs> One that looks just like it. So right now they're having a bunch of people coming in at the same time. Here's the kitchen. Even has their the phone, the wallpaper. So cool. And I'll take you guys out in the backyard. Tours for. If we see people outside, like we would say, hey, you want to come in and see yeah, people outside? Yeah, that's really how we did it. He had the conversation with just normal the other day. stuff we collect and then we get our from all over the, the gallery. And no, we don't charge people. So basically, oh, this started right. the first Burns. We got stuff Thursday? coming this week. Uh, wow, yeah, yeah we saw a lady the lady castle on the rocks. The article. The castle. We never talked about it. You guys trying to find any no, yeah. Right, there's no oh, information yeah. about that all of us. Because what we were expecting is that it's an hour. Yeah. So we were going to come yesterday, but we were going to listen more artwork up there. Angel. And then I got a camera thing from Goodwill about two weeks before we got the house. And so, and I'm an audio guy, so I grabbed it because I liked it, and then now I realize why I actually got it, because nothing looks good in the house. So, are you going to Edward Scissor? Never said what else. Well, no, I was the next one. Yeah, exactly. We've had, and so where he's trying to fix it, like if you Google Edward Scissor Hand's house, and that's his phone number, and he's trying to fix it to now where if you click website, it takes him to his Instagram to message him. Oh, because it's not on our website. When you ever miss the phone at the door, and the door, and she opens the door, and the camera angle right here, that's the best time. He actually walked in the house on that floor right there. But we have no appointments. No, this right here. Oh, that floor. Oh, that's cool to know. We had 50 people in here. And in that picture, you can see this. Oh, you see what he's saying? That the flooring. 
was different in the movie. Tired, I'm so tired. And he actually has a piece of the flooring so we've been to over there. Sorry, the lighting is a little bad. We found out it was directly under where the dinosaur was. Yeah, the whole people are like, yeah, it's sheer. Thirty, you can tell they're old. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's all paper, so we're sure. like, wow. And Tim Burton either yeah. used them himself yeah. or most likely said, "No, right there, right so there, they're perfect." From the base. <laughs> <laughs> Through the camera lens. Yeah, absolutely. I've been there. there. And then that T-shirt. That one that just left was on, uh, oh, like Tim Burton came. Probably right before the wow. premiere, and gave every member of Tin Smith Circle yeah. that T-shirt right there, yeah, and then you wore that to the so premiere in December. Five uh, pounds. Isn't so that cool? cool? And then my neighbor gave that to me. Oh no! no. Show you guys. That's, that's cool. And then the license plate, you need it on your car to get on the circle during filming. And then my other neighbor, who lived in Esmeralda's house, gave that to me. Yeah. For the fans. Yeah. My son was cold? five six when he was born. My yeah, fourth son. Oh, he was a tiny little guy. And I was full term. I hadn't seen him with him. And I just didn't know it. Right. Isn't it cool? Yeah, we, I bought the whole plan for you to come on this property. Yeah, let's go outside and see the backyard. So that was the license plate that people needed to have in order to get into the neighborhood during filming. Just bring them to my work and here and there at restaurants. Oh, and he and had all these art, and oh, artwork oh, from oh, fans oh, that have oh, left. Oh, of course. Okay, yeah, we'll be, we're trying to be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the kitchen, guys. Look. He got the original wallpaper. Isn't that crazy? And he made this. Look at that. But a bunch of scenes filmed right here. There's a scene here with Edward Scissor's hand. Um, he like cuts himself right here. He's also cutting lettuce here. There's another scene where he's standing right here. And you'll you'll see you'll see these two cabinets. The door is open at some point. And you'll see him standing right here. Um, by the way, these are the original cabinets right here. These are all original cabinets. The only thing that's not original is the refrigerator. It was a brown refrigerator in the movie. And pretty much everything else looks the same. Okay, who's up there? <laughs> and I just love that they have the phone and everything. They bought all of these things. All these things were just the same way. You can actually see it in the photo here. You see that? Look at that. Um, <laughs> there's Cheetos there. But yeah, he, this is where he was cutting. Um, what else is on there? So you can see all the apples and oranges. But that is really cool. And then you can't really see the phone. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see the phone right there. You kind of see it there. This is real movie wallpaper. And so the original owners, um, I think they didn't keep anything that was actually on the walls, but they have a few pieces of actual. So this is the actual movie wallpaper. Um, scrap that they had, and then this is the replica that the artist made digitally. Where did you find the artist? He found us on the wow, internet. He reached out know. to Joey. He's actually been our guy. He found the door knocker on Etsy. Okay. The, the box door knocker. And then um, in the movie, on this wall above the couch is the Curtis Jeer Birds of Flight. It's this huge wrought iron, brass wrought iron okay. um, thing. I don't even know what you call it. Um, but it's a big wall hanging. It's huge. And he found that on eBay. He's like, you gotta buy this too, but it was for So you're saying that this is also yeah. very, very similar pictures? to pictures. Yeah. Oh, the clock. I got a good picture the clock of the clock as well. You it's a replica. Oh, no good. <laughs> oh my god, so cute. But it's like uh, the So here's the backyard. We were uh, Joey and I were just talking about where everything was. So the dinosaur was over on this corner. Um. He did the box family cut-ups like right here, all the family. 
the tree house was in this corner. There's a couple of scenes where you see the dad lounging like right here and you see all these um, like meter boxes in the background. You'll see the window. At some point you even notice this. Um, when you see the family here, you can notice this, the house. You won't see that little window, but you do notice that like vent right there. Um, just really cool. Um, another scene that shot here was with, um, oh my God, what is her name in the movie? Kim. Kim. I don't know why I ice forget ice. her name. <laughs> yeah, when she comes out and she sees Edward cutting the ice, that would have been like right about here maybe because it was right, right in front of the door. So just right across. It's so maybe here. Um, and then I'll take you guys back to the front out here. This is so pretty. All the details in here, it's gorgeous. Where did you get all these? Did you, where'd you get all these? Those, uh, Home Depot had them for 30 bucks a pop. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and what about the ones with the, like the Those little swiggly ones? Those are 150 each. Oof. And then I had to buy the, the, the clay pot to put them in. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I'm like looking at all the little details. There's a butterfly right there. So at night, he lights this whole place up and it looks gorgeous. There's a couple pictures on Instagram. It's like a fluorescent color. Yeah, it lights right? up like nuclear blue. Yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I love this right here. You need a little plaque somewhere that says like the Boggs house or something. Yeah, right? or you need to clean the little door knocker. Oh yeah, I love that. I love that. I love that you guys found that. What do you? What was it before you guys found it? Was it nothing there? Yeah, there was nothing there. I bought that and then oh. I installed it. Yeah. I never. You, do you know that this is the closest I've ever been to this house? Like right now that I'm standing right here, this is the closest. I would always stand like out there and take wow. my picture. Like yeah, I was, I was so afraid. She I was didn't so like afraid. it. Yeah. Now the neighbors don't like. What them. about your numbers? Those big numbers. Did you add those too? Yeah. I, they were, those weren't there. Yeah, they, well, there was tiny, small ones. Yeah, I remember about that. Half the size. Show them the angle from the mailbox. Yes. You should show them the mailbox. Hmm. This is really pretty. All the flowers. Look at that. That's my favorite angle. It is. There's a couple angles actually that were taken from the movie out here. I think the very first one we see is probably across the street over here, right? And she parks her car by the stop sign, I think it was, if I'm not yeah. mistaken, right? When, when she first pulls up with him? Yeah. Yeah. It was by the, uh, maybe right, right where it's dry, actually. Yeah, so like that angle is like right here. This is that angle that I think everybody has, yeah. super famous angle. But also, it just looks different. And the angle from the castle, like where the castle should have been, you know. And I think I actually took the wrong screenshot. I got a lot of comments on that. They were like, uh, I think you you uh, kind of messed up your, your angle there. And then there's an angle also coming closer to the house. Like they're walking in. So it's like right about here. I don't know if you see the stop sign or not. I don't have my screenshots in front of me right now, but I feel like maybe the stop sign wasn't there. It was more there. Hmm. Lord. Hey guys. So I'm sitting here with Joey, the owner of the house. Also his wife, she's hiding right now. She doesn't want to be on camera. But if you want to say hi. Hi. <laughs> They've been so nice to let me stay, you know, to let me come in and do a little interview for you guys so you guys can find out more about the house and how they got it. So I guess that's my first question is, um, how long have you been living here? One year, September so 11th. So just a year, sh shy of a year. Right? This yeah, weekend? Yeah. Wow. Um, let's see. How did you buy this house and was it hard to get it? It wasn't hard to get it. It was just nerve wracking because um, we were had been turned down four houses in a row and the house across the street popped oh, up. Oh, you try to buy other, another house in the same area? Right neighborhood? across the street. Okay. And I was the dishwasher for the movie staff and we had two boys in the Navy so we we're like, J how could we get turned down? And they turned us down. 
And okay, uh, wait, what, you said you were a dishwasher. You need to explain that. What do you mean you were um, a dishwasher? The local Denny's, I was a dishwasher at the local Denny's, and behind the Denny's was all the higher-ups of 20th Century Fox. And when they catered the food to the entire staff, oh, I see. the manager at Denny's said, would you mind doing the dishes for the filming crew? We didn't know it was oh. called Edward Scissorhands. And um, I said, yeah, sure. But you didn't get to meet any of the cast no, or anything? No. Oh. But I what? But I did re scrub dishes going, I'm doing Johnny Depp's dishes. And that's actually Kicking really myself cool. in the butt. <laughs> going, I got to do some with my life. Oh, man. That's actually really cool. Let's see. I wrote down, how much did they film inside the house? I would say uh, most of the movie. Yeah? Yeah. Well, they definitely used the living room. All the living room area, because I remember that. The kitchen. Do you think they used the hallway at all? Because I looked at your hallway for a little bit, and it looks like they, they either matched it almost to look the same. Because if you go all the way down, you have a bathroom, right? Right. And there's two rooms on this side, or is there one on the right on one on the left? There's two rooms on the left. I'm sorry, on the right, and our, the master straight. Oh, but in the movie, the, it was the bathroom. Okay. So it it's looks easier like they to, tried. They tried to match it up, I guess, in yeah, the studio. Any, anything in the when anything to the right when it gets to the hallway, it goes to a set. Okay. But gotcha. I'll just explain. In this house, the middle bedroom. This is something no one, no one knows. In the the middle bedroom in this house was Johnny Depp's go-to room to relax and cool off because he, it was so hot and he was okay. in that leather outfit. Yeah. And then. This this bedroom, which is my studio, that room was uh, Tim Burton's office, where a lot of the discussions were about where the filming and all that was going to be. And then the master was the master suite for the um, the owners of the house. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure, like when they filmed, that nobody was living in this house. Maybe you think, or do you think there was there was owners in this one? I don't know. That one we I'm we know have to... they stayed in the house, but okay. then we thought that. I guess other they had the option to go in and, a hotel, in a hotel, hotel. right? Yeah. But so, so like uh, Depp and Winona, I guess they were dating at the time. They did stay in Esmeralda's house. Oh, okay. Which, and who was Esmeralda's like the lady the, right across the, the street? Where the 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 devil lady in the movie? Oh, that Esmeralda. Yeah, <laughs> okay. that Esmeralda. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else I have here. Have you ever visited any of the filmy locations yourself from from the movie? No. 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 We, Besides. Besides this the house? house takes up every bit of energy. We no. If you lived here yeah. and you were in charge, you wouldn't do filming locations anymore. <laughs> no, but I mean, like before you owned the house, did you ever go see Southgate? No, the shopping we attempted no? to go, and we were going to go only to go get a public sub. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. So, so you haven't seen what's the other what's the other location? I think oh, the Dade City where the castle was. Yeah. Yeah. No, but we have people that own the property. And live around there here. If you guys know where that location is, write it down in the comments because I cannot, I don't know where it is. Yeah, it's somewhere in Dade City. We yeah. don't know either. That's all I know. And I know someone went on YouTube. I don't know his name, but someone did go to the yeah. location. Uh, let's see. Have you visited any other filming locations from any other movie? Um, Amityville Horror when I was a oh, kid. Oh, that's a good one. When I was a kid, though. Okay. I wasn't like, like this, yeah. like what you do. No, I was okay. only like... You just Seven. happened to go? I, my brother was into that. Okay. And he was a year older, so my mom took us there. Okay. And I didn't know it was a, like a murder movie. I know we were supposed to be scared of the house, though. That's cool, though. And it was cool. I, haven't, I, I still haven't seen that one, actually. Oh, really? Oh. That's on my list. Um, where did you start changing... Oh, when did you start changing the house to make it look like what it is now? Instantly. Oh, oh yeah. the minute and, you moved in? Yeah, oh, my... When we moved in, the first things I brought into this house wasn't our belongings, it was two paintings. Wow. Because it was for the fans. It was, that actually I, makes me like want, want to cry. That's the, so sweet. It's because you, you, you guys, it's what, the, you know, we're not supposed to be here. So wow. it, it, I, we didn't buy the house for me to live in it. We bought the house for the fans of the movie wow. to come on the property. That's so sweet. I was actually telling Joey that I think he's the first one in the Orlando area who's done this with a house like I've been to like the Christmas Story house and I've done what's the other one like Dirt, Dirty Dancing Hotel I mean that's a hotel so that's different but it's very rare he especially here in Orlando to see a filming location and actually be able to go inside the house and have someone like you do this so um, 
thanks. I'm gonna say thank you, and you know, because I'm sure everyone right now is probably like, "Oh my God, I love you." Yes, yeah, so. on my Instagram, there's a picture of me holding the paintings in front of the doors, and that is me. Those are our belongings. Well, they're not my belongings, but yeah. I took a picture of it to show you that that was the first thing that came through those doors. We didn't bring in clothes, food, no fur, nothing. The pictures came in. I, and then uh, that is my way of saying that we're here for the fans. We're the first family in human history that had to battle every soul on the planet so the fans and, fi and filming location people can come on the property. And, and we and, thank you. And, we be really a, do. and touch it and be a part of it forever. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see. I only have a couple more questions here. Do you have an Instagram account? Yes. And what is it? It's official Scissorland on Instagram and TikTok. Is there like a um, what do you what do underscore call it? thing? Underscore? Yeah, but it pops up if you just write official scissor. Okay, so it's Scissorland. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys a picture that he has on the wall. And it says Scissorland on it, so you guys can make sure you follow him on Instagram. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. This has been a really cool experience. And I hope you guys go check him out on Instagram. He also has a TikTok account. Yeah, official Scissorland. There we go. So go check him out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So I'm back at the Edward Scissors Hands house. And you asked me why. Well, <laughs> as you noticed, you know, with my video already, you could you saw that there was a lot of people, a lot of visitors that came the very first time I came. And it was just really hard to show you guys around because there was constantly people walking around and talking in the background. So I decided to come back, get a better view of the house for you guys, and just take more pictures, basically. Um, so, uh, oh, and by the way, uh, I'm only showing you guys more of this house, not the whole neighborhood. So if you do want to check out my other Edward Scissors hand video, I show you guys the whole neighborhood and all the different houses that were in the movie. So check out my other Edward Scissors hand video that I did about a year ago. So now I'm going to take you back inside the house. Um, since the last time I was here, they've changed a lot inside. And this morning there was actually um, the news from Tampa Bay, I believe. I think it was local 10 news or something that was here this morning and the girl that they were speaking to was actually one of the assistant props she worked at, uh, with all the props of the movie so she brought over some stuff for them to to keep so i'm going to show you guys all that stuff um and yeah they've painted some more inside the house so it looks completely different than it did the last time i was here so i'm going to show you guys now what that looks like so one thing I forgot to mention on my last video when I was here um, about the backyard is that the fence that they had for the movie was a lot higher than the one that they have now. So there's a shot where, uh, hold on, let me put my camera down. Uh, there's this scene where Edward is cutting up that dinosaur, which was right here. You can't see any of the houses in the background. So I wanted to mention that the fence was much higher in the movie and that's why you couldn't see any of the houses. But the dinosaur, dinosaur scene that he cut up was right here. And like I was saying before, this is where the tree house was. And there's a scene that was taken from this angle because you'll notice the house in the background. You can even notice that that vent in the scene. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that because I don't think I mentioned that the last time I was here. Um, as you can see, they've added a lot of stuff back here. Personally, I love the ladder here. I think this ladder looks really, really cool. And look good. This has to be my favorite part right here of the backyard is this ladder that they added. So cool. So I just noticed something by looking at my screenshots. Um, 
on this door right here, this patio door that comes out to the backyard, in the shot, you actually see Kim standing on this one and this side is open. So it looks like that scene was done in a studio and they try to recreate it, but technically, in reality, the part that opens is actually to the right versus the left. So I just happened to uh, catch that. I didn't even realize that when I took the picture when I was here last time. So as you can see, they've added purple now to the wall over here, which I think it looks fabulous. They added the Funko Pops over here. So cute. And that lady I was telling you guys about, so she brought these over today. These were in display at the premiere. Is that correct? Okay. Joey's back there, so you'll hear him talking in the background, so he'll correct me if I'm wrong. Um, what else did she bring? Um, she brought this autographed picture of Tim Burton, and he's actually sitting in Esmeralda's house. Remember the, the devil lady? Which uh, would be that house right there. Um, so he's actually sitting on the couch in her living room, and he signed that picture for, let me get her name so I don't mis, mispronounce her name. Hold on, she's somewhere around here. By the way, this is like all the cast and everything. So let me see, she's around here somewhere, right here. Oh, sorry, my, right now I lost it. Right there. Tandova? T Tandova, Tandova. And, Tandova and Senia. Oh, and yeah, so she was assistant props and she was one that was here this morning and brought over that picture like I was saying. Um, those and then check this out. Over here she brought an actual script. I mean it can't get any better than that. Look at that December 15, 1989. That is cool. And it was revised in December 15 of 89. Look at the beginning. Look at this. That's a long story, sweetie pie. I can always, I can hear her saying it too. <laughs> I love her, her little grandma voice in the beginning. Gosh, she makes me cry every time I watch that scene. Okay, I'll just, uh, I'll just do this because this will take forever to show the whole thing, but look at this. She even wrote notes down, as you can see, since she was in, in charge of the props. See, it says dinner prep, van, lock on. Oh, she was also in charge of doing certain things on each scene, right? Mm -hmm. So right there it says van, lock the door, flashlights. So I guess not only was she in charge of props, but they would have her do certain things in certain scenes. Gosh, this is amazing. She did the leaves and the hair. When you see the, the trimming of... Uh -huh. She would throw the leaves, and then when he did, when he was trimming the dog hair, yeah, she threw the. the she said she had two bowls sitting down away from the camera, and, and did this. Wow! Is there is there a way that people can watch that the news that news uh, thing? I don't know if point? she said that on the camera. She because she was in two places. Yeah, but she was sitting there for thirty minutes, and that'll be on YouTube. So we will have that. Okay. Soon. If anything, if I can, if I can find it, I'll link it down below. But yeah, she was here this morning. And that sh it, it was live, right? Wasn't it live? No, that one wasn't. That wasn't live. No, okay. So they just interviewed. They did a lot of pictures and video, and then sat here. And so yeah. So that's there's a script. She also brought some pictures, which I don't even know if I've seen these myself. So here's a few pictures. Oh my gosh! Look at the castle. That's all building the castle. That is, oh, the whole thing is. Yeah, the whole thing. It's just a different. Okay, so stages. I'll just show a few pictures then because this would take forever, but oh, wow. These are cool. Reminds me of that other uh, neighbor when he showed me his pictures on my last video. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, not, he didn't have any of these though. These are really cool. Wow. Oh wow, look at that. Let's see if I can go through these real quick. Oh look, at this is inside of the studio. They're building like the inside of the house. God, these are really cool to have. Never seen before. Oh look, this would be, this looks like the house when they try to recreate your house. That's what it looks like, doesn't yes, it? Yes, they did. They had, right? There was a set that looked similar to this house. Yeah, look at that. And we didn't know that until today. Well, you know what? I was just, when I was outside just now, I, I kind of discovered that when Kim is looking out this, this window right here to go out to your backyard, she's actually holding the door open on this side right here. She's right, pulling it yeah. this way. So technically, that's not true. That this is the side that opened. So the, the, right? all these windows were replaced. Oh, yeah. well then yeah. that makes sense too. Yeah. The okay. The redid the windows, which is why the metal bars. Oh. Are aluminum. So she just there's sturdier windows, and then she switched out the slider and faced it the other. That's way. why. Okay. Well, there you go. That the answers my question. <laughs> yeah, because like when I was standing on the other side, I'm like, wait, she was opening the door from that side not this side over here yeah. okay well there you go there you have it <laughs> that explains that all right what else is here mm, that looks like part of the castle mm. just kind of going through these quickly Let's see if i see anything else that's uh that's backwards oh yeah look at that So this is where it was, and this was in Dade County, which I've never been. There's a couple other YouTubers that I, I think actually went to the area where they built this castle. Personally, I've never been, because I feel like, what's the point? But I don't know. How oh, cool. I wish they, would, they were able to like leave it out there, oh, right? And like it's, have it as a museum. Down and saved. It's, yeah. it's, you know, they, it's a movie prop, so it's not, garbage well i'm sure it belongs to disney right yeah, yeah. yeah. they have the castle and the token wait did i say disney <laughs> who would it be it would be all right so that's yeah. that and then they also left she left this shooting call so i'm not sure what this is exactly but let me see uh, oh look at this peg's front yard woman Women coverage on peg or something? I'm not really sure. So I guess this is some kind of like, like, like from the scenes? Yeah, they, right? it's a daily shooting scene. Look, see, day 13 out of 56 days. Oh, so they okay. planned 56, but it was well over 100. So this is just like, like notes and stuff, right? And where everybody's supposed to be? Because I, I see Johnny Depp, Winona Ryder, Diane, how do you say her last name? Weast. Weast. Huh. And then right here, I don't know what these are, but the makeup, who has to go to makeup, set calls, 9 a.m., yeah. remarks. God, that's really cool. Oh, jeez, that's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff on here. That's just, I was checking the dates, because, man, it would have been cool if they had an April 14th, because that was my birthday. Yeah. That would have been neat. Yeah. Wow. Well, there's a lot going on here. So oh, this that's a very it? nice. Oh, look at this. We have been notified by some people that there have been a few problems concerning room theft. Oh, well, if you notice that some things have disappeared, please notify us in this office as well as speaking to the front desk. Safety deposit boxes are available. And then we look at that. That's so cool. What were you going to say? Let's see. Please notify us in the office. The oh, office, us. Office, I said, I US. said U.S. Listen no, to me. The us. office was here in the house. It's just the way they, they have it in all capital letters, so yeah. it threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the uh, Tim Burton's office was here in the house. Oh, it was here yeah, in the right house? Behind you, right behind the TV. Huh. She also brought these that she made. This is from the school scene when um, for the show and tell when Edward is like cutting them up. So I guess she made several of these. 
Um, and yeah, she so just... it's not a replica. It's a movie prop that wasn't used in the movie. Gotcha. Yeah, look at that. How cool, which is like, you can see it over there. I remember he's holding it. But, th but that's people. So I'm like, yeah. Weird that they use, they have people there. And then she said it's a, a fox huh. and a rabbit. Here. Maybe she just had to make several of them and then no. they decide which one they wanted to use. Who knows? Know. These um, are all the same. So it's and then there's it. more stuff here that weren't here when I was here last time, like these t shirts. These were already here. Um, what else? The Vincent Price. Oh, yeah, that one I haven't shown. So here's another artwork that someone made. What, what's his name? Vincent Price. They call him the creator. Oh, no, I mean the guy who painted this. Oh, uh, Vincent. He's, uh, I don't know his last name, but his name's Vincent. It's also yeah, Vincent? He, yeah, he, he named himself Vincent after Vincent Price. Oh, okay. So there you have it. Gosh, I just love this. Um, so, yeah. I'm using a picture of the, the, that cat's picture. Oh, no, you're fine. And then... I showed you all these pictures last time. I don't know how well I got them on video. So I'll do that again. There's the dinosaur I was telling you guys about outside. We're gonna, you're pinning this with pins? You're not holding it, but I'm gonna hang it on pins. And then where's that cast photo that she also brought? Oh, in the In chest. here? Oh, there it is. Do so you she open the door. So she also brought this cast photo of everyone. I can quickly show you some of the actors. There's the little boy. You're gonna have to uh, excuse me because I can't remember everyone's name right now. There's Tim. There's Johnny Depp and Diane. Was that Diane Weiss? Weist? There's Winona Ryder. You can barely see her. Uh, there's the mean guy. Um, who else? Hopefully you guys see other faces in here, but. And mention that that's the, how I landed this house. I did their dishes. Oh yeah, really? see? These are, this, this is, you we was cleaning stuff. dishes for all these people in here. And that's how I got the house. <laughs> Do you want the steps still so you wake up? And then, I don't know if I showed you guys all these cute things in here. And then these, I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but these were given by one of, somebody that worked on set. His name is Randall Miners. Actually, his name is right on there. He does uh, prosthetics and stuff like that. So he kind of loaned these hands to them. They were given to, to him after filming. Um, and he's making another set of eyes for us. When, when uh, the scene, Oh, he made eyes. Yeah, in the, in the movie where the camera's coming towards Edward while he's being made and, yes. and, and his creator's reading to him, right before he gets to him, you'll see the eyes on a stand. And he's he's making, they're not a replica because he ha, he's making identical block eyes. So basically he's making just another set of the eyes. Oh, okay. Well, there you have it, guys. guys i hope you've enjoyed this video bringing you inside of the edward scissors hands house i want to say thank you to joey and his wife for um, allowing me to come over not only once but twice and basically invading their space and showing me around and all the cool props and artwork that fans have left uh given them and i'm just very thankful to you both and i will see you guys next time on my next filming location and yeah take care bye so i know this video is supposed to be over but i do want to mention a few things so that there's no misunderstanding about what joey and sharon are doing um the best way to contact them would be through instagram which is um official underscore scissorland if you do want to visit the house um, they are not charging. This is not a business that they're running. This is basically them being just really nice people and allowing people to come over. Uh, things got a little bit out of hand with um, with the crowds coming in, so they had to stop 
people doing drive-bys and they are asking that if you do want to come visit to please reach out and set up like a time to come in uh, but again they do not charge this is not a business this is just them with you know being kind people that they are and allowing fans to come see the house because it is you know the Edward Scissors fans house so um, I just wanted to um, I just wanted to put that out there if there's any misunderstandings or if you heard anything in this video that was um, confusing <laughs> I know I did say the word museum a few times because you know because they have all that you know the some of the props and and memorabilia in there you know it kind of looks like a little museum but it's not I, I want to say that that is not what I meant to say um, so yeah um, if you do want to reach out to them again that is official underscore scissorland